Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to our channel. My name is Jörg, which is German for George here at Find a Job in Germany in Berlin. And with me today is my colleague and partner, Tamo. Tamo, hi, how's it going? Hi, welcome everybody also from my side. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be talking about salary today because Robert Half, which is a recruiting company here in Germany and in Europe, have issued and published their 2024 salary report for professionals in tech and IT. And we're using that as a basis to give you an understanding of what you're going to be making when you work in Germany as a tech and IT professional. So before we jump into the roles, uh, what we should cover today is we should mention um, a few specific salaries mm -hmm. um, for specific roles, but then we should also talk um, about salaries in Germany in general, so the taxation, the other benefits, because there are a lot of myths out there, hey, if I move to Germany, I pay that and that much tax, it doesn't, it's not even worth it to come here. So <laughs> we should unreveal some of those myths um, as well, so to give you a more detailed understanding about that. Perfect. Now there's a salary report by Robert Half for 2024. What can you tell us? Yes, if we jump into the report, first of all, what you see here, that is for IT. And don't get confused, it's in German, but what you need to understand is, first of all, it says 25th um, percentile, 50th percentile and 75th percentile. In general, that says for juniors, mid-level position and for more senior position. More senior, I mean anything with eight plus years of experience. So, to give you an understanding here on this first page, what you see here down below, it says Software Entwicklung. This is what is relevant to most of you guys, so that is all for all software developers. So, let's take an example, Java developer. You see a junior Java developer here earns around 56,000 euros gross a year in Germany. That grows up to around 85,000 euros gross a year. To give you a better understanding, those are general numbers, that means that's uh, average numbers. Of course, you can earn more or less if you are a Java developer with eight years of experience, for example. Uh, another example, what it says here down below, web entwickler, front end, back end, full stack. So that is usually for all software entwickler which are dealing with JavaScript, Node.js, React, and so on and so forth. You can see if you're good here, you can earn up to 90, almost 90,000 euros a year. Um, a few other examples, what we see here, um, for operation, cloud specialists up to 90,000. If you're a good system administrator, yeah, you're earning more than 100,000 euros a year. Um, let's go down to the um, second page, what you see here, DevOps. Yeah, we have a lot of, we work with a lot of DevOps guys as well. You can see if you're a good DevOps guy, having more than uh, seven, eight years of experience, you can earn up to 96,000 euros a year. Um, the other positions, just have a look yourself. You can also download this guide on um, Robert Half, Salary Guide, Germany 2024. Um, so that gave you um, a bit of an insight about yeah. specific salaries. But let's say something generally about that. Let's put it into perspective. And this is maybe also something, you know, from our side, um, everybody who is interested in joining our personal coaching program, uh, they book a get-to-know call with us, then Paul from our team calls them and then they say, I want 100,000. <laughs> and I just want to mention that all these salaries which you see here are a reference and they have a margin, of course, and you need to understand that you are not going to be making a top salary, most likely at least, from the first day that you are starting your job here. And that has to do with what would you naturally say, Tamo? Yeah, of course, the first salary what you're going to get here is usually not what you're going to earn after you've been working here for two or three years. And that is quite normal because you have not worked in this environment before. You have not been working in Germany. You're not used to the work culture. Um, and companies see that. And usually it takes some time for you to get adjusted. So that can even take the first six to 12 months. You need to get used to everything. And then it starts when you really bring value to the company. Exactly. and. Everybody has also been sharing stories about a steep learning curve once they boarded on with a German company, new tech, new processes, new colleagues, everybody um, is experiencing this and naturally after one year, after 18 months, you are going to experience a first hike. You can either negotiate it or if you're a fast runner, you can already switch your job. However, we recommend not to do that too often, but there is going to be a hike in your salary after that because then you can show hey I've had my share of experience work in Germany 
It is different when you already had experience working in the US, for example, or in Europe, and now you're coming back to Germany, but that's usually what we say, hold your horses, try to have a realistic picture, coming here is the hard part, and once you're here, you can develop your career further. And the good news for you, the salaries and tech and IT in the, in the upcoming year, they will, they will keep on growing because the, the shortage of skilled workers in that field will not go away. So that is a challenge Germany, Germany will face for, for at least the next 10 to 20 years. So mm -hmm. that's exactly. for sure. And the reason why salaries are now also increasing is that after inflation had kicked us a little in the behind in the last one and a half years, Inflation rates are back to normal, but unions negotiated a better deal. So it's not just professionals in tech and IT here in Germany, but pretty much everybody that got their raise. People working in the public sector, people working in the private sector. So really, tech and IT is just one part of that. Tamo, let's put those numbers in a perspective now. Gross, net, what does it mean? What's the takeaway? Let's talk about that. Exactly. So, yeah, in Germany, we have something called uh, brutto and netto salary. So what you have before tax and after tax, to make it short. And just to give you an understanding, what does it mean if I'll be earning 80,000 euros a year? Mm -hmm. Let's assume you're single, you're not married, you come to Germany, you're earning 80k a year before tax, gross. That means that after tax, you're going to have around 4,000 euros net in your pocket. This is what you're going to get on your bank account every month. Yeah? And the idea behind this is, of course, that this will already cover your health care. This is important. Now let's talk about those folks who are coming with family. Yeah. If you're coming with your spouse and or your kids, they are covered under your plan. You're paying taxes and into Social Security. That's health care, pension fund, unemployment insurance and accident insurance. And if anything happens to your wife, your husband, your children, they get covered. They get treated here at the hospital, at the doctors for free. That's where your money goes. That's the system. Let's talk about those tax groups now for those who are married. What does that mean? Exactly. So if you are married, for example, and um, your wife or your husband is not working, so you're the single um, income, income bringer of the family, you should move to a different tax class. So a different tax class in Germany, um, as a married person, it makes sense to move to tax class 3 in this case. And then you can see it's a huge difference for your, in for your net income every month. So. If you're earning 80k, you're on tax class uh, 3, that means you have 4,600 euros in your pocket, which is a difference of like 600 euros a month, which mm. is quite a big amount, I would say. Um, also, speaking about that, tax classes make sense, taxation makes sense, so the German states favors married people with kids. There are a lot of other benefits you get as well. So. For, for married people, if you have kids, for example, you get um, child support, you get, it's called Kindergeld. That means for every child you have, you get 250 euros tax-free every month on top of your salary. Cash in the tash, as we like to say, that means it's for you to take home. Nobody's ever going to want to tax that. And this is nice because, for example, Tamo has two kids, 500 euros tax-free in sure. his bank account every month. Um, on one more thing, or you wanted to add? Um, maybe just one thing, uh, because we see that quite a lot. People say, oh, I only want to come here if I am earning at least 85,000 euros. And then I ask why. Um, and they don't really have a good answer for that. And what I say, what, what do you do if you get an, get an offer of 80,000 euros a, um, a year? And they don't really know, and they don't really even know what is the difference. And the difference for you, if you are single, if you're earning 80 or 85,000 euros a year gross, that is only a difference of like 150 to 250 euros in your pocket each month. So I don't think this is an amount worth it. Um, if, you, if you look at the overall amount, um, <laughs> you, should, uh, you should base your decision on uh, to come here or not. Because you should always think long term, what we have talked before, in the next years your salary will exactly, just grow. Exactly. And what I really like to emphasize, what we like to emphasize, having a realistic picture of what awaits you here. And salary, after all these years of having run, find a job in Germany, Tamun, I will always tell you, salary is one part of it. Yes, it matters. But there's so many other things. And when you join our program, and if you get an offer, we're going to have a call and we're going to discuss these things in <clears> detail. <throat> The hard, exactly. The hard part, we always say the hard part is to get here. Come here in the first Once you're place. here, you will see recruiters will approach you almost on a daily Sky's basis. Sky's the limit. <laughs> you get offers. Um, 
they will say, ah, come to us, you get 100K, you get this and this. Resist the temptation, stay with your company, yeah, be, be um, persistent, show that you, are, that you are serious, that people can trust you. But once you're here, in the long term, in the next year, salary will not be the issue for you. Exactly. And if you are interested, of course, care to join our program. Watch the video for which you want the link underneath this video. You can then book a get to know call. You can send us your CV. Paul from our team will call you and then we can discuss things further. I'm Jörg from Find a Job in Germany and this is Tamo. So long. Thank you very much. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye bye.